Hello guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Another review today and I've been excited for this one and I've managed to get one and I'll just show you what it is. It is the Avid Benchmark Firmatec Heated Sleeping Bag. Wait for the XL. Oh. Saves me one less job, I suppose. So let's open it up and have a look, shall we? Would be so much easier if I actually got some scissors. But that makes things too easy, doesn't it? Here we go. Let me put you down. Straighten you back up. Here we go. It's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. I've got the big snooze now, and even that seems like it's in a bit of a smaller, smaller bag. But let's get it open. Let's have a look. Is actually very very light Let's read the instructions to get a to get a to get a right okay so what we got here heating so I've got a 10,000 amp mini one uh, so you've got nine hours on comfort eight hours on cozy seven hours on warm six hours on hot but in one of the other videos it might go up before this or after this i've got the fox halo 96k so i'm just doing a video on that currently at the moment um seeing how much how long it will last for basically and what i'm charging on it and that's 96k so 25 that's that at least three times even that's 75 so even on full hot I can get 15 hours, but you're not going to want it on 15 hours. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, 25 is 15 hours. Times that by three. That's 45 hours worth. But from what I'm aware of, you're only going to put it on for an hour at a time, every couple of hours or something like that. I don't know. We're going to find out. But I've also got a little heat gun or infrared heat gun thing. Let's see what the temperatures are. But so there, yeah, there we go. We've got uh, uh, four different settings. Can be used to uh, 365 days of the year. Here you go. Right, okay. These are the sizes. The XL. Packed size, unpacked size. 250 in length. Uh, 100 in width and 10 centimetres in depth. See, now, I think I've got a biggest um, bed. But I might get a slightly smaller one, so I wouldn't say it's a wide boy or anything like that, but I suppose it's wider than normal. So what I didn't want to do is get small, because obviously I don't think it would have fit, or standard as we call it. So I thought I'd go XL, because at least that will fit if I downgrade 
don't have any need to downgrade as such. But so let's get it out. Or what I'll do actually, I'll go and get my bed in now and we'll put it on and we'll have a look. Can you see what I mean? It's quite a wide one, isn't it? So that's what I thought I'd go for wide. Right. Right, so let's get it put on. Apparently this is waterproof, machine washable. Not sure how you're supposed to get it out. Oh yeah. Loosen up these on the side. That makes it looser. There we are. Well, I've just got to try and remember how this rolls back up. So you fold it in half lengthways. With the big snooze I've got, really struggled to um, get that back in the bag. You've got your middle strap for underneath. Got like the the end flat bits. I don't know what you call them, I can't remember now. But, so we'll, so we'll put it on and we'll have a look, shall we? That. I think you can see that right, you put your pillow in there. So you can see how well that fits. It's very wide, isn't it? So. Must be like a little draft excluder. to this. Or keeps heating. That's to stop the side from coming on. Like, with my current bag, sometimes like the zip on the opposite side starts um, undoing. There we have it. There's the button. That's where you put your little power bank. Oh, like I said, I have got a mini one. So I might put that in there. If not, what I'll do is get a USB extender. So it's a dual, dual USB, so 
doesn't actually matter which way you put it in. So, there we go, that's fleeced. That is fleeced to that side and that side. So you can just see where the heating element elements are. There you can see that you've got like a square patch. So you've got one there. And you've got, you can just, just about see the outline, one there. And then you've got, I don't know if I'll be able to see it without unzipping the other side. Oh, you can just about see it, just here. So you've got one for your feet, one for your torso, one for your head, or back of your neck, shoulders. Knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. So it's a bit mangled down the bottom at the moment. But it's new in it, so it's all been shoved in the bag. But the only thing I would say, make sure you get the right size because even sort of stretch your knees over the ends is it's quite tight so you wouldn't get a small one on there can't see that like i say you've got the strap and never really bother with that right i will go and get power bank from upstairs we'll plug it in like i say i've got a heat gun we'll see how hot this gets we'll have a look but looking at this, oh, I don't think, just wondering if it tells you like the colour, the buttons. There's a little bit of info on it. Four heating settings compatible with all USB power banks. See, there's a rating of uh, five C's and waterproof and breathable. Uh, three heated elements along. Bag length for maximum comfort, heavy duty zips with toggles throughout. Supply with a stuffed bag, 50% more compact than a five season, five season sleeping bag. Right, okay, so let's uh, plug that in and we'll see what colours the lights are, etc., and the heat. Here we go, guys. My power bank. Didn't really want to use this one because I'm doing this experiment, as I was saying earlier about the video, how long it will last. But I've got no choice because my other little one is in my work van, which is currently at the car garage. So, pop that in. I don't know if you saw that, I'll do that again. Lit up all different colours. Alright. So. I don't have no idea what colour is what. Red, purple, green, and white. So I'd imagine then, I uh, don't think it would, it must go from cooler to hotter. So that'd be comfort, is it? Cozy, warm, hot, and then obviously off. No idea, we'll find out, right. Where did I put the infrared gun? Here we go. So, there you go, look. Park side. Park side. All right. So about 23, something like that, on normal. So let's <clears throat> put that on. See, yeah, it's got a bit of warmth there already. Oh, that feels nice. Thing is, I'm not going to benefit it completely at the moment because obviously it's um, it's that patch there's 28. 
Like I said, I'm not going to benefit it completely because obviously I'm warm as it is. So I see then you've got that one. Whoa. That's nice. If that's just warm or cosy or whatever which one it is, or comfortable, you're laughing. So yeah. All right, let's go to the next one up, see if that gets any warmer. Yeah, I'm sure that's warmer. There you go. 36. That's nice. I, like, on the hand, it feels nice. So imagine, like, when it's chilly outside, you get in there, you've got your feet warm. All right, it's green. Yeah, that feels nice. I'm not going to bother to obviously go to the foot one. I'm not going all that way. They'd be all the same. It doesn't feel quite as warm, but obviously, well, I've had my hand on it. See, that one seems a bit less. I'll have a look at the instructions again in a minute. This confused me a bit, this is. Right, Ooh, where's the instructions? It must tell you what, which one's what. Because looking at that. Should tell you what colour's what, surely. The above chart is a guidance. Your results can vary based on the age and the quality of the power bank used, outside temperatures and your own body heat. Tish power bank to ensure the length of the performance with this sleeping bag. I reckon it's the opposite way around, you know. I wonder if red is probably hot. Is that warm? What's oh, I don't know. It's confusing because you've got green and then like the white. So like those two colours sort of match up. Uh, right, okay, so go on red again. Let's see that heat up. Oh, let's turn it on. Right. About 29. It's 30, 31. 32. Getting different readings now, aren't we? All right, let's go. I'm gonna try it on this one here. See if we get any better readings on that one. Sort of go around the whole square just to see. Thing is, it might take a couple of minutes to warm up. See there, that doesn't feel hot, hot. Red's got to be hot, surely that would make sense. Wouldn't it? Hot. Red hot.
Yeah, so it's reading about 34, isn't it? Right, so I've been doing a bit of messing around. I had it on the white one a minute ago and it got to, I could only probably just feel the warmth. So that must be, that must be the comfort. I reckon it goes backwards. So I reckon it goes hot, warm, cozy and comfortable is what I'm gonna go with. That's on red, that's been on for a couple of minutes now. That was just, Obviously, it's losing heat, obviously, being open. So, so, yeah, it's about 39. That's warm, yeah. Then I would say that is... Wow, that must be warm, cosy, comfortable, off, hot. Warm, cosy, comfortable. Because that was on for a few minutes on that colour, then the heat sort of really did fade away fade away so like I say what I can do is I can use it for a minute and actually let you know which way is what I just had a quick look on the internet and I can't find anything about what colour is for what see that feels like the heat's really moving out of that now let's see it's gone down to 20s Hi guys, sorry to interrupt the video there. I just have confirmation from Avid that red is hot, purple is warm, and then you've got uh, the green is cozy, and then the white is comfort. So I thought I'd just get this in here. I look forward to using it though, it's gonna be wicked, especially when it's a little bit chilly. I'm gonna take a blanket with me just in case I put it over the top. Was Like I said, I've got the big, the track of big snooze and I was going to get a bed cover but that was like 60 60 70 quid I think adds another season so even mine would still be a four season but this would is equivalent to a five season yeah see it's shooting back up so that's on red so I've got a feeling red is hot but it was just give you a heads up that was all because I'm intrigued about this so your pillow goes inside top so that'd be all bulky and nice so that'd be like the back of your neck, I reckon. And obviously, like I say, you've got your, your bum, then your feetsies down the bottom. That is nice and warm in there. That is nice and warm. Where's my turn? Just have a quick poke around in there. Hold on, Let's see if I can set you down for a second. Without falling over. Where is it? Oh, there. Yeah, reading 44 on that. See that? Wicked. So, yeah, I reckon red's hot. Makes sense to me. Don't, don't know why you'd want red as cosy or whatever it was. So, <clears throat> uh, what else was there? I think that's it. I mean, I feel myself putting it back in the bag, but obviously I think that's quite simple. This is meant to be waterproof. So, let's get to get in it now. Get in it and sweat out. Oh, this is when the bed's not set up properly in it and I go flying onto the ground. Oh. Whereabouts is that bottom one? Oh, that bottom one is, for me, is precisely on my feet. Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, that is nice. Oh, I'm going to sleep now. Yeah, so the one by my feet is actually on my heels. The middle one is on my bum. And then the one behind me at the top here probably about between my shoulder blades that is nice I like that I like that a lot so then obviously you can just turn it off and do whatever you want from down there 
like I say, uh, oh, I probably might use my little one to take with me. If not, I've got my big one on the floor. So, but where it's fleeced, it's actually quite warm as well. So, um, I think that's it. I think I showed you the measurements on uh, the bit of card that come with it. Any questions, ask me, and if I can answer them, I will. Um, or if you know what colour is, what temperature or heat setting, drop a comment, let me know. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe because it helps the channel out. And I'll upload, obviously, more videos as the time goes on. Still got a couple of the fishing van videos to load up. I've got to edit them yet, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> It's just so much like hours of having to um, edit parts of it. But yeah, so this is the Avid Heated Sleeping Bag. So like I said, give us a subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. This isn't going to go in how it come out, I can tell you. Never do. Well, look at the size of it already. That's not going to go in there. Is it? There we go. I'm not gonna lie, that was a hell of a lot easier to put away than I was expecting. Like I say, <laughs> might not be perfect, but it sure do. And like I say, I'll see you in the next one.